Turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are. Here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Um, I'm going to have an unboxing. I recorded it as I opened the box and stuff like this. But this is sort of putting the cart before the horse. I had a chance to open up the box and, and look at the stuff. And this is the torch that was in there. It was about a $90 torch. This is basically what came in the kit here. Um, a cutting torch. Uh, five. Actually, it only came out to five torch pieces. I mean, five uh, burners, basically, uh, tips. This one, this one, and those three there. It also came with the two regulators and also the oxygen hoses and all of that other stuff, which, you know, when I first started my glass blowing, I had a torch. This is it. This is the actual torch that I uh, started playing with many, 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 many years ago when I first got my first oxygen settling torch, but I, of course, adapted it for propane and used the propane instead of the oxygen. And this is the torch that I had. I mean, this is from 1983 is when I got this. Uh, <laughs> and it's basically the same torch, just a little bit longer. And anyway, hooked up to an oxygen concentrator, a five mil oxygen concentrator is what I've got it hooked up to. And I've also got, um, this is the tip off the end of the cutting tip there. And all I'm doing is hooking it straight up to, and basically, if you look at it, <laughs> for the price, 90 bucks, and the oxygen regulators, you still have to get yourself a, a, um, a uh, how far is it? That's right out there. I'm going to have to bend this out a little bit further. You're still going to have to get yourself the didymiums. You're going to have to get those. That is part of the deal. But this thing as it is, is pretty nice. I mean, it, um, I hooked it up also to, I took the propane or the settling regulator and hooked it straight to propane. There was no problem there. Uh, and so five, five mil liter per minute, five liter per minute oxygen concentrator. And this is the results. Oops, I forget. I'm going to have to turn down. The one thing about this is that it is reverse of what you would get on a, um, a reverse of what you'd get on a uh, glass torch. The oxygen is on the, the gas side and the gas is on the oxygen side. Me being dyslexic, I just adjust the flame anyway, so it's not a big, big deal. I, uh, Basically, as you can see, hose clamped it to this uh, this tip there, or or, or this uh, base that I have, and it does it can tilt if I wanted it to a little bit. But right now, I'm going to leave it just as is. I don't need it to go anywhere, do anything, and uh, I'm going to play with it. I'm going to actually let's see what could I make that I haven't made in a little while. A dragon. I haven't done a dragon. And if you think about it, as a matter of fact, I will do this. I'm going to use soda bottle. No, that's the uh, sparkling grape juice bottle that I got. I've got some rod already made up. And this should go pretty quick. But I will make one rod while we're sitting here. To let you know what you can do with it. And I had, I did melt some boro with it. And I made a, uh, a sea turtle with this same torch already. Um, I don't have that handy at the moment, of course. But we will get there. Okay, now. Also, you'll notice that I don't have my... Um, <laughs> my didymium lens over the, the torch because it's a little bit different and 
it will do this will do the job for it anyway okay I'm gonna this is basically a blowtorch with a kick I'm not warming it in and you can see it's popping but I'm going to do this give it some time touch it too uh, now we got to warm it you got to warm it in and you can see I was just holding that that wasn't in a an oven or anything like that oops all right graceful freezers when you need them this will work back and forth up and down you don't just slam it into the flame okay I'm gonna sharpen it up a little bit actually I'm, I'm not I'm gonna make it more bushy now I'm gonna start sharpening it up it's getting warm enough okay and for the price now all you got to do is again get the oxygen concentrator and you'll have yourself a uh, with tips this one's just one of them and I will uh, be demonstrating the other tips uh, very shortly uh, I actually w was uh, manipulating well I used the tip torch and tip to uh, cut some cut one of the the base is not this one but another one that I was using for uh, one of the torches that I came up with but anyway now I'm gonna warm this in a little ease it in don't just slam it in there there you go this is all soft glass at the moment I hope this is oh I can see I'm just out of view let me see if I can scoot this back a little bit there we go Oh, not scooting forward again. Sorry, folks. Now, one thing that you can do, and that's what, and it will trap some air. I know it will. And it will cause some stress going on later on. But this is what I usually do, is I round it into a ball and then stretch it into a cane or, or a stringer. And the reason I do that is A to alleviate a little bit of stress and B you're I'm already used to using rod and stringers to, to make just about everything that I play with anyway so basically you stretch it a little bit by a little bit or actually this you can see what I did something to play with And to go from this torch, you know, if you're working on a budget, and, and that's when I first started, I was working on a fringe of a shoestring budget. I literally um, wish I had more knowledge of glass blowing torches and stuff like that, but I didn't. But I'd made do. And I, uh, I'd have to say that this is a little longer than what I want it to be. Okay, all right, we set a dragon, so a dragon we shall do. Let me go ahead. It's not going to be a big one. Matter of fact, I'm going to kick off a little bit. And kick it down. Down to a smaller flame. Don't need a lot, just enough to flow the, flow the glass. And This is oxygen propane. So it will flow the glass quite nicely compared to a hot head and a heartbeat. Okay. Here we go, the nose. That's what I like about soft glass is that you can work it and you can work it it's like making a cake compared to a cupcake. I, I, I've been saying that the last couple of days, but with soft glass, it's even more so in that uh, you can heat it up faster and melt it quicker. There 
There we go. I love my dragons. Now the uh, the trick about doing soft glass work figurines is to work from the front to the back or whatever you do and don't go back. In other words, get your ducks in a row, figure out what you got to put on where. Like you can see here, I'm doing the uh, the legs. I'm only going to put two claws on both of these. That's what I simply do. And then uh, go from there. I don't. I'm going to put a cold well on the end of the nose here. Should have put the eyes on, but I'm not going to go and do that. I'm going to warm that in. And again, this is uh, what you see is rods that I did just what you saw me do. I uh, stretched them out into rods, and they have not been annealed. Okay. Now we'll do the uh, back legs. If you've got your oven heating up and or whatever, this will go in there quite nicely. Oh, man. Working with this torch does take me back. I never really did. I never... The, the torch I had only came with one tip, and it was like a five or something like that in a big hole. And it just wasn't comparable to this at all. I mean, if I'd, if I'd have been able to get a, a, a torch set up like this back then, I would have in a heartbeat. And I'd been able to make a whole lot of stuff out of it, too. Again, I'm still in the, the same zone where I've been heating. And now I'm going to add some wings, real quick ones. There we go. Simple, simple wings. Yeah, I'm melting the tail at the moment, but that's okay. I'll get back to it. Toes, of course, two. Come on. There we go. Very fine detail that you can get with this flame. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I, the, the time that I'm working this is not sped up. It is the time that I'm working this. You can hear me talking in the background. And you can see me working with the flame. So it's not like... You can see that it's sped up faster or anything like that. It is the flame. Okay. And this is the dilemma I usually have, whether I do a pointed, an arrow point, or a forked tail. And this time I'm going to do a forked tail. And there we go. And we have, i got to tap it off. Watch it break in the middle. No, it didn't. All right, cool. One. Dragon. Soft glass dragon. I want to thank you for being there, and I hope you enjoyed this show. And uh, keep it going. Carpe vitro. Enjoy your day.